Hello everyone, my name is Joost and welcome back to Starbot, the most charming game on the channel up to date I think. I don't know, it may not look like much but I really like it. It's not that popular either but to be honest I really don't care. We are with a little star buddy on a neighboring satellite, um, going to the second lab to pick up a star plant to care for. Hello there. I like sharing stories. Would you like me to read you a story? Oh yes please. Yes I'd like that. I have several stories. Which story would you like to hear? Hmm. I like the one with the ocean. This story is about a child who went to sail the ocean. The ocean? What is that? It's a large body of water I think. A body? Is it a person then? No, it's like a top, except much larger. Here, there's a picture. Look, there are stars in the sky and water. That's a lot of water. There is a lot of water in the sea. Anyway, here's a child on a boat. The boat traveled for a long, long time through stormy waters and calm, sunny seas. The child landed on... Sorry, the child landed occasionally, staying only for a few days at a time on islands before taking off again. After a long journey, the boat approached the end of the world. Beyond the adva advancing horizon, the water spilled out into the endless space. The young adventurer appeared over the edge with a great fear before that ship plunged over the edge of the planet and into the vast darkness. The boat heaved and rocked, carried relentlessly by the water as it rushed through the heavens. The young seafarer rode anxiously to avoid stray debris, narrowly avoiding collision after collision. Finally, the water slowed and the adventurer gazed over the edge at the stars below. The boat sailed leisurely on the space river to the galaxy far beyond. The young adventurer admired the star dotted heavens above and below with great satisfaction. This was home at last. The end. That sounds really wonderful. I agree. That was a wonderful story. I would like to go to the stars. I would love that too. Okay, I don't, I'm not going to read the other stories. You can play it for yourself if you want, so you have some incentive to play this yourself. Um, I, let's see, the, the left was at the top, so... Oh, it's locked. Um, maybe it's in the uh, middle can. Middle can, that's not a word. Insert ladder to Matt and Lily. Oh, yes, drop off ladder. Still locked, though. Um, so where do I go now, then? This is locked. There's nothing to do here. Can I get off here? I, I need to get in there, please. Um, oh, no, blah. This keeps messing me up, I don't know why. Hello, plant. You're not a star plant though, you are not... Oh, here we go. Hello there. Can't sleep. I keep wondering what's going to happen. It's, be it's been getting darker lately. The stars have been disappearing. I'm scared that when I wake up, they will be gone. That's scary. Okay, uh, that's the same. Uh, trash can! Found a quiet note. Oh, it's quiet because there's nothing on there. That's usually called a blank piece of paper, but... No, whatever, I'm not going to criticize you. Um, okay, I'm a little bit lost. It's fine though. Can I get through the window here? This one? No? Okay, maybe we need to go through the other door. Ah, my nose is itchy. Why? I hate it when that happens. Here? I've never met an egg that has told such funny jokes. Wh an egg? Well, well okay then. Uh, trash can again. Found a black note. Are robots scared of dying? It's dark. I guess I have to go down then. I wonder what happens when robots are turned off. Is it just like sleep or death? That's sort of temporary, you know? Perhaps. But I still don't know where to go. Because I keep going down, but... Am I supposed to go here? How come cats can eat the same thing every day and lick their own asses and people think they're cute of... Cute F but not people. Okay, <laughs> I don't know. Something wrong. Okay, that didn't do anything. Yellow note. My hunt is waiting for me out among the stars. Maybe she's dead. And all the while I do not know where to go, but this is the bottom. Hello. Pie track, Claudia. Oh, hello. I'm naming stars. There are so many that I don't ha that don't have names yet. How sad. I don't want them to be forgotten before they die. Does your star have a name? Let me ask. Do you have a name? A name? A word everyone can call you. You can call me the word star. Its name is Star. That's not unique at all. Let's give it another name. It will be special. Can I give you another name? What do I need it for? It will make you un unique among all the other stars. You're pretty important. Oh. 
Why don't you choose a name? Me? Yes, I would like that. Let me think. Oh, I can actually, um, okay. Um, let's see. My star's name will be Shay. I like that name. How about Shay? Yes, thank you. I like how that sounds. Okay, um, I believe this is the bottom floor again. I am the president. President of what? Of this satellite. How did you become the president? I own a key that can open any door. I need that for that locked door. That sounds useful. How did you get it? It doesn't matter. I am an important president. You should bow to me. I guess I should do what he just says. What now? I... You... You're pardoned. From what? Death. <laughs> oh, good. Jolly joy. <laughs> good. Aren't you going to ask what I pardoned you for? You've told me I was pardoned from death. Yes, but you were condemned to death because you crossed this threshold. Be gone before I condemn you to death for crossing the threshold again. What a strange man. He's a president though. It's like a king. Do you have a king? No, I don't have a king or a president. You have both? No, you only have one. It's a type of ruler. What do you measure a king or president with? Justice, I suppose. The president has been very just to me so far. We should leave before I'm condemned again. No, I, I, I need the thing. Can I pick... I'm present satellite, be gone. Okay, I'll be pardoned again. And I'm thinking it will... Okay, I need the damn key. But how do I get it? It's a presidential note in the trash. The president's key can open any door in this satellite. Don't tell anyone that's it in the upper bookshelf. Second from the left. Aha! First, second. Da -da -da -da. I stole the key. Awesome. So now I can go back up. And I think I can go into the... Uh, the last uh, house. House is not a difficult word. Why couldn't I think of that? Also, I'm rambling. Shouldn't be rambling. Rambling is bad. Up here, I think. Yes, there we go. Presidential key unlocked the door. Oh, here are the plants. Found a dirt covered note. Matt, what are the plants? Matt forgot again. Matt keeps forgetting everything. Today I woke up and freaked out about not feeling my left hand. It's not really a big deal, but when you're half awake and forget you're missing a forearm, it can really mess you up. Lily probably freaked more than me, though she fell out of her chair and held me for like an hour straight, and now I smell like Lily sweat. Okay, gross. <laughs> That's just what I said. The other day I saw a star just beyond the rooftop. It was the weirdest thing. I can't remember the last time I'd seen one up close. I walked just up the edge and reached out, but it kind of floated away. I forgot to wish for a new hand. The power went out this morning while I was starting our new project, but thankfully nothing got damaged or lost anything. We finally finished that nasty trip of strawberry in the uh, Neapolitan ice cream that neither of us touch ever. I can't remember the last time we stargate from the roof. I've actually missed it. Lily was surprisingly quiet though. She sort of broke uh, in the joint of my new hand, squeezing so much and her face was really concentrated. It's the same face she makes coming up with really complex algorithms of programming AI or even like trying to cook eggs. Cause yeah, that's the same. I asked her what she was thinking and she told me that she hadn't realized how deep the sky was. I couldn't even think of what to say and for some reason I felt really sad. Damn. I found Lily asleep on the keyboard downstairs. She managed to type out one of the 56 pages of <laughs> with her forehead. I carried her all the way up the stairs to bed because I can't remember the last time she slept in it. It's scary. I wonder if she's always looked this tired, and I've only just noticed. Though she keeps talking up the, taking up the whole bed, so I guess I'm gonna sleep on the floor tonight. Ugh. Can't believe I have to take care of this child. Duh. Reminder, tell mom and dad about new address. Okay, Lily. It's been three whole star cycles now since I've left my home station and lived with Matt. Okay, so, they, so they're together. <gasps> I have to breathe. <sighs> We've been able to make quite a bit of progress here, but gosh, I miss the botanical gardens there. There's a whole room for nocturnal plants that may or may not actually be the most ideal place in the universe for a nap. Plants are actually good napping company. I found a star plant today. Of all places, it was growing in our drain pipe, probably from the little bit of stardust that had been collected at the bottom. I hadn't, I hadn't considered it, but it's likely that the little bit of celestial precipitation we receive has some minuscule amounts of stardust. 
I'm not sure it will grow much more though, because it's much harder to find quantities larger than that. The power went out, so we decided to take a work break today. We sat on the edge of the roof and fed each other the last of the ice cream before it went bad, and honestly I feel like a teenager again. I didn't realize how much, of the universe, how much my universe had shrunk until I was laying on my back and squeezing her hand because I was terrified of falling upward forever. Maybe I should per pursue a line of work that doesn't require looking at the ground so much. I've been working on my AI for a new project, on and off. I'm sorry for all this reading. We actually decided to start with a standard AI and modify it to include more complex processes. <sighs> I've been keeping in touch with a few more experienced colleagues and their input has saved me a lot of time. We've been experimenting with simulating human decision and as it turns out, the less rational the more realistic. We've been talking about getting a new lab. There's a new satellite, um, there's a satellite a stop down, it has a few vacancies and we're going to look into it. I was born there. It's possible uh, we might have to get two places though. We need more room for our upcoming... Thank God, so I almost regret reading all of that. <laughs> Open box. Open box. But some documents... Oh my God. Better not to touch. A few loose letters are falling out of it though. Oh, I guess I should pick these up. Dear Lily, I appreciate the help in the last month. The new design has really improved my mobility. And nothing's jammed or gotten stuck once... Which is really cool. Don't the lab mentioned blah 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 lunch. I'm just going to skim it. Engineering instance. Ask about prosthetic research. Get space mail. Oh no, I, I've already read this one. I've already read this one. I haven't read this one. Got your space mail. Future the engineer. Blah 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 blah. I love to consult. Finish project. Okay, that's not important, I guess. Digital picture frame. Oh, there's an actual picture in here. That's awesome. Ooh. Oh, there. They do. Those are the pictures. A reminder note: fixed prosthetic hand. Okay, Matt's prosthetic hand. I get it. Um. Oh, there's another room. I get it. Look at all these stars. When I look at the stars, I will always think of you. <sighs> I'm flattered. Is there anything that makes you think of me? Hmm. There are many things, but I can't really think of one. I think though, I will always remember what you've done for me. It was the most incredible thing anyone has ever done for me in all of my lifetimes. Being alone in that place was not awful, but I didn't know how dull it was. The sky has always seemed so dark, but now it's so bright with you. I think I will miss you. That's a funny thing to say. Oh, you're right. I'm sorry. Wait, look! That must be the star plant. A small pot. A small plant could be grown in here. Poor stardust. Yes! Am I getting a second star, buddy? Oh, yeah, we have to quit soon. May more stardust may be needed. Oh! Where will we get more stardust? Stars usually shed stardust over time. Especially at the end of their lives. Right. Let's go find more stars. Okay, but I guess I will do that in the next episode. This game is kind of long. But it's alright, I kind of like it. So please leave a like if you enjoyed it as well. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't also ready for more gaming goodness. And I will see you all in the next episode. Bye guys. <laughs> this is awesome. That crap, now I have to climb back up. Because I want to see what's on top of that rock. There might be some more power crystals. And we unlock abilities. Uh, we unlock a new ability if you get four more of those. But I know, I actually um, thought this game would be rather short. But my friend Zelzar is playing this and he made, he got 5 episodes out of it. And I'm a slow player so I'll probably need more. Which is not a bad thing considering that this is a really fun game. Also scary. Scary. Through horror. Okay, anyway. Uh, please don't let go. I'm prone to letting go of the triggers too early.